this whole video here is dedicated into um tips and pointers into providing like raw human hair this is this is this is raw hair okay i'm not i'm not even trying to share with you like this is raw hair hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kt lux i'm back with another week's video hi guys what's up i really do miss you guys i really do miss uh doing youtube and video for you guys so if you're new here this channel is like an all around the channel it's um highly to do with fashion um beauty um honest reviews dead ass honest reviews like i don't give a <laughs> so you would never catch me lying over here like if i don't like something i'll dead ass tell i don't like something and if something is shit i'll tell you dead ass it's shit because i'm the type of person i've always been like outspoken and don't give up about anything or like don't even care so yeah because i have been tired scammed and fooled by these dead ass lying mother reviews or reviewer influencers and that shit needs to stop because no one like losing or spending a hard money on something and it's dead ash you know so anyways this is a video i just don't want to be rambling too much if you like my energy already go ahead and hit that subscribe button thumbs up um on this video leave a comment in the comment section and share this video with your friends and loved ones and you may be wondering hey kate where have you been girl literally i have been so dead ass busy with work with family life with whew, the whole lot I tried to find like a, a right schedule to fit everything in in my life has quite be hectic let me tell you guys now it is literally like 5 20 a.m and i'm filming this video because i'm like you know what i'm up your girl is up why not so the people that are muslims and you know in the fasting season happy ramadan and if you're christian happy easter whenever whenever or wherever this video catch you or find you so today's video i really want to do like um because i know a lot of my girlies love like hair extensions and love like adding wigs or whatever into their hair to kind of diversify their looks and i want to put you guys on as to when looking for raw human hair so i want to literally want to put you guys on um as to what to look for when actually sourcing raw hair and you might be saying oh what's the point of doing this video there is a lot of like information that i will be provided in this video so you could go ahead and do your research and definitely like you will know what to go ahead and look for and know like key points or keywords because this company be playing in your faces using these words and making you think you're actually getting raw hair there's a huge difference i'll tell you why in a moment or you're getting like synthetic blend we've been searching for this for raw hair for the past literally 10 years and i have tried hair and hair and hair and hair in the past of my entire not entire life i'll be lying like past few years of my life and i have come across some good remy hair i have come across some okay virgin hair but i've never come across raw hair as raw as raw could be like straight from the scalp wash package send off so this company hair company is owned by a small family in cambodia so this is like what i'm showing you now will be showing you it is raw cambodian hair um they have been owning this business for the past 15 years so they are very much experienced with conducting business um they provide ow they provide like raw hair to literally i'm not even gassing i'm not i swear to you guys i swear my heart my heart my life i'm not gassing you guys like they provide i'm um, here to literally celebrities and to your favorite boutiques in la or the us if you're based there i'm based in the uk so raw cambodia hair has caught me in a chokehold and i swear to you whenever i have this hair on people literally actually think that it is my actual hair and when i say sometimes i lie and say yeah it's my hair of course it's on my head but sometimes most times i say it's extension and they cannot believe because it literally feels like human hair like your actual hair it takes heat so well 
ask about the cuticle of the hair you know like when i started off i'm like cuticle of hair yes sweetheart you have to ask about the hair cuticle whenever you you going or researching like for hair vendors or like you see like a company advertising that they sell it raw hair ask for the cuticle meaning is the cuticle aligned so they're supposed to tell you that the cuticle is aligned it is raw hair straight from the scalp of the person hair onto the weft um and is aligned because you know like you hear some hair cu am i rumbling hair cuticles are not always aligned damaged hair cuticles are not aligned because you have breakage split ends this is what i mean when i say ask for if the cuticle is aligned if the cuticle is, is if the cuticle is aligned <laughs> you know you're getting actual healthy hair that like that person has been eating healthy has been washing their hair like you know properly like cleanse the hair you know because your hair follicles need that strength and you know clears from the dots of your scalp you know the the more aligned it is the stronger the hair the more um chafing it could take in terms of like wind humidity and heat so when asking for that this is the reason why i say ask for what's the hair cuticle is the hair cuticle aligned is the hair cuticle raw human hair you get what i'm saying you get what i'm going with this um another um note don't waste your time asking companies for videos of the hair let me tell you why like don't even waste your time asking for videos of the hair one they're gonna send you videos of the best hair possible make you think you're actually getting the hair what's shown and most times it's catfish even if they do a live video because remember your hair they over there if you order in something or you're buying something and you're over there in another country and your hair you don't see what the transaction is taking place when packaging the hair they can actually tell you oh it's raw hair and it is wrap okay so another note when you get hair i'm going to show you guys a few like um examples like what i mean i really love this company they are the bomb diggity dong dong okay so when you get hair so your hair oh my god and this guys i have this hair is older than all the other hair that i have i'm going to do like a close-up video so you guys see i don't understand to get bright <laughs> anyway so this is like a 20 this is 26 inches and it comes up like 30 and look at that box look at that box i supposed to have like an original video of like when they say original came this i have washed this on my head and the way this like just bounced back and oh it's so ridiculously soft my hands pass through it so easily i just i don't i'm just i'm so in love it's unbelievable another thing to note with raw hair raw hair is on process and on process means like there's no chemical add to it to manipulate it there is like when i say manipulate manipulate is too light to get its actual um call there's no chemical to smooth out the hair follicles of smooth out i don't want to say the hair fibers because fibers is synthetic so to smooth out the hair um follicles or cuticle to make it appear in a certain way that it's actually not in its raw state because when something is in its raw state for black girls we will know when our hair is in its raw state we see it from the scalp how it actually grows out and how it actually forms and um uh, adjusts to the world the nature when i said the world i mean like nature air like our daily life how it actually is in raw state and when we add like chemicals in it how it's manipulated to get it to be straight because you know black girls we have nice gorgeous coil curly hair and we do things to manipulate it to get it straight for that straight effects and one of the ways is using chemicals always ask for double weft in my opinion single weft is okay it's fine but double weft i approve you ask for double weft because that way the hair is actually tightly secured onto the weft so if you're doing any install or any cut like you know like some uh hair studies when you do install some of them cut it um to like ensure that the hair is laid flat that's why like if you do decide to cut the hair the hair then don't, don't just start to shed off from the weft quite easy i have had single weft from them before and it hadn't really had any problem really had any problem because imagine that they tend to use to sew the 
weft the hair onto the weft was done really really well and amazingly surprisingly but i would prefer to go for um double weft and right guys so let me explain something to you so you know i was saying like i prefer the hair to be um double weft rather than single single weft so i'm up close and personal this is what i mean so like this is like double weft right and as you could see here when i cut the hair it don't just like loose out like the hair just start falling off easy so if i'm like i'm i'm literally pulling really hard on this and the hair is not just like falling off like shedding off crazy from the weft this is what i mean when i say when you order hair asking for it hair always like get like double weft rather than single weft because although some uh raw vendors tend to weft their hair like quite nicely or neatly onto the weft i don't actually trust most times because a lot of mishaps could happen with single weft rather than double weft let's get back to double draw so double draw means that the hair another way i would tell you the cuticle hair is aligned with each other so this strand of hair is like bending okay so say like this is your strand of hair right and let me get another piece so what they said this is this strand of hair so you're able to see what i mean so this hair strand is like doubled in two and it's stitched onto the weft. This is what double draw means. So double draw means like there is no like short hair pointing or sticking out of the weft. There is nothing wrong with single single draw hair. It just double draw just makes the hair looks a bit neater. Just makes the I'm just gonna restate that again. Makes the hair follicles looks um aligned with each other. Like single draw and single draw. You see this. You see this little short hair? You see what I mean? I hope you could actually see what I'm saying. Like, you see this hair that the short hair is st sticking out? This is single drawn. When they have the short hair sticking out. That's what I mean when I say single drawn. Compared to it being double drawn. Double drawn means like there is no extra hair like sticking out from each other on either side so it's like one one straight sailing from top to end so I'm, you know from top to end next pointer what to look for for raw hair always ask what is the highest bleach blonde it can go and it should go up to the highest level of so it should 100 percent should pass 613 blonde so it should go to the highest 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 blonde which is ash 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 silver blonde <laughs> so it should be able to bleach the hair and it's not being fried off or break off or like stringed off or turn it into plastic that should not happen then if it cannot go to the highest highest blonde and it could only go to i don't know what's medium which in blonde because i'm not a hair stylist so i don't really know the numbers of the blonde different categories of the blonde but if it only goes to the medium blonde like or halfway you know definitely this is not raw hair but if my hair can go to the highest blonde or highest bleach blonde or ash blonde, you know, definitely it's not raw hair because baby, if you take your, if you have natural black hair or any type of color hair other than blonde, you know damn well that your hair can bleach to the highest color. Okay. And if that hair or that wig or that, uh, that, uh, extension is not doing that, we know what's up. Okay. <laughs> another thing to know that raw hair when burned should turn to ashes baby ashes it should definitely turn to ashes just like your actual body you know like when you cremated your whole body turns to ashes just like your nails your, your eyebrow anything on your body that is cremated cremated meaning is burned should turn into ashes it shouldn't fall up into plastic and like be gooey and gummy if if you have raw hair as a quotation mark that claims to be raw and then you burn one strand and it turn into this gooey gum hard hard substance 
it's not it's synthetic fibers it, it's 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 not it's not raw hair because raw hair should dead ass turn into ash straight away another thing to note that with raw hair when you ra wash the raw hair as soon as you get it you wash it whatever they say the hair is so say they say if it's curly hair and you wash the hair and it's you leave it to edge right and it goes straight you know the hair has been manipulated it is not raw hair because i want you guys to keep in mind that raw hair it is on processed hair so if you get hair and you wash it your other hair that is straight or curly let's just use curly for example and you wash it right just like how you're washing your hair in warm water in cold water however you use or whatever um you know uh shampoo you use i would also I would definitely go for like those that is not heavy chemically uh induced um those that is uh like uh shampoo or like uh conditioner is as as healthy like natural close to natural um ingredients as possible um because that's also like a way of manipulating the hair um that will not wash off it, whatever they put in the hair and it wash off and you leave it to air dry and it don't go back to the actual state as how you first got it in baby it's not raw hair okay it's not raw hair always ask your vet though whatever hair that you order in be it straight be it curly like carver call like it is because you know there's different formats of call always ask my love if the hair has been manipulated in some shape or form to achieve the curls or the straightness is there possible and if they tell you no and you wash that hair and you see it's not what they say they chat and shade they line so you definitely know you can't trust that company with anything that they say okay know that you know when you wash the hair and you leave it to air dry if you go and you run your fingers through that hair and the hair is not like smoothly your fingers is not like smoothly going through the hair or the hair is not soft if the hair is not raw if your hair if your hands is going through it and it's actually gritting means like it's sticking to go to the ends of the hair know that this hair was being chemically processed meaning like products was add into it to get that smooth soft silkiness of it and after it's been washed out is no longer what it actually is or came for came as so just know that pointers after you wash your raw hair or after you wash hair and your head is gritting or sticking within the hair after running your fingers through it if it's gritting or if it's sticking you just know that it's not raw hair if it feels like textured meaning like a bit abrasive or not smooth or soft or like dry especially when you air dried you will know you will know so much like if it's like abrasive or like dry you definitely know that it is not raw hair it was never raw hair to begin with it was manipulated i ordered four bundles to get me the design oh no this is not my i ordered four bundles to get it to the desire like thickness because i actually really like my hair being like thick and voluminous and you know giving that oof that vibe and i got this in the 24 inches and it's wavy and double weft so that's that's if you've made it through the end then you're a real one you actually really want to gather information in regards to um assessing raw human hair or what to look for when buying raw human hair and there's a lot of vendors out there please don't I was I was not lying when I was about to say don't trust okay <laughs> let me stop my PS so one thing I would just want to note I I don't know I really don't want to come across really mean or harsh but don't trust Chinese vendors when they say they're selling you raw hair baby girl they're lying they're notorious for that bullshit they lying they just want to scam you out from your money don't believe nothing they say i will stay away once a child once a vendor is chinese you will know i'm not good saying for you to ask for their ethnicity because it will come across really bad and racist 
but like if you know that the whole vendor is chinese and they said talking about rahim i would tell you run for the hills because they're not if you want to places that i will recommend that you source it right here from is south india okay the north i'm very skeptical from south india because you know you come from the indian te temple and south india for our hair um cambodia these countries cambodia baby vietnam baby for that bone silky straight hair like naomi campbell vietnam so these are the country countries i will always recommend to check so if you find this video very helpful because i know i have give a lot of information and a lot, a lot of people haven't um is fully unaware of this because i have been there in the past and i wish someone would have told me and i've been catfished so many times by companies spend so much money lost so much money and i don't want that to be you so i have provided you with enough information for you to do your own research and yeah so go ahead and hit that subscribe button thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and i will see you guys on another week's video bye from again kid from your girl kid deluxe Mwah.